Welcome back, guys. We are here with NFC Non-Fungible Cast episode 19. I'm here with my buddy, my brother, my boy, the man with the caterpillar. One day, he's going to fly off the screen with that butterfly. Uh, my man, WT, what is going on? It is so good to see you again. I know we took the week off. I, I've had COVID and stuff and, and been not feeling well. So, you know, my throat's a little mangled. So you guys are going to have to uh, bear with me uh, for this. But WT, talk to me. What is up, man? We have a lot to talk about today. Uh, what's new and exciting, man? Oh, man. Crazy, crazy week, especially with Soulcraft. Lots going on. My head's spinning from all the announcements and the mints going on and yeah it's glad to have you back i know you have been feeling very well and yeah i'm glad you took the time to get the rest to get back to not maybe full capacity but good enough to do a podcast with me so welcome back buddy thanks man no i, pre I appreciate it. yeah it's, it's been it's been uh it's been a week that's for sure no streams no nothing no videos it's been it's been a week so this is my first time actually doing one of these in, in, a, in a bit and it's uh it's good to be back man i love this you know i feed off this i love this stuff so uh <laughs> glad you're doing well man everything is good like you said there's a lot to talk about there's tons 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 to talk about so i want to jump right into it man we're gonna jump right into land uh that's what a lot of people were waiting for this is something that you know it really this is something that every investor player whatever it is really looks forward into the game is land you own land just like in the real world you own land it's it's such what you want so the land airdrop so uh came out yesterday i believe it was we got airdrop the minting pass so the as of the time of this video tomorrow april 30th is when we can actually mint uh, the land, which is it, it I, I've been waiting for this man. Now, if everybody just do a little, a little, uh, catch up for anybody that's not familiar. Okay. So the land to, in order to get the whitelist for the land, you had to own three dwarves for every three dwarves you own, you get whitelisted for a plot of land. So if you have six dwarves, you get whitelisted for two plots and nine is three and so on and so forth. And that's what you do. So there's going to be these, this airdrop happened yesterday. The type of land you're going to be able to get, there's forest, uh, it goes in this order, forest, desert, ice, and then volcano. And then from there, there's also different rarities from common to mythical. So you could have like a, a mythical, I don't know, uh, ice uh, land or a mythical volcano or a common volcano or a whatever, you know? So there's different rarities and there's different uh, rarities of land and rarity for the land. Does that make sense, uh, what I'm saying there? So there is lots to talk about about the land. WT, break it down. Uh, what are we looking for here, man? Yeah, land, it's uh, less than 36 hours away, April 30th, which is tomorrow. Uh, 2.5 soul per land. They're going to be doing this at roughly 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I got my land tickets already. I'm ready to go. I'm moving my soul over. Uh, two things. One, the Solana network, sometimes it gets a little congested. So if it's not right at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, don't worry. Don't freak out. We've had a couple delays on past mints, but they've they followed through within a short amount of time, less than 24 hours or maybe 24 hours. So there could be that possibility. So don't be surprised if we have a little delay. I'm not going to be surprised, so I would suggest you don't be either. Also, I've noticed in the last uh, 24 hours, I started to move some of my soul over from other networks like Coinbase and Celsius to try and get my soul ready to buy my lands. And I don't know what's going on. I've talked to some people. They, they said this is like the weirdest thing. I'm only able to move one soul at a time right now. Like I had a bash to move. It will not let me move it. So I'm moving one soul at a time. So if you run into that problem, try one soul to see if that helps you get it over. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm being targeted because of my ugly mustache. I don't know. But just watch out for that. The land's going to be huge. It's dual passive income if you look at it you're mining solonite that's going to have a market you're going to be able to plant crops to feed pigs that's going to have a market it's big big stuff once they get this economy established and going dual passive income are you kidding me man i'm jacked about land yeah i, I tell, i'm the same way land to me is everything and the fact that it's 2.5 so to me that seems like that's low man that's that's low very 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 low which is i mean it's great for us uh, but yeah, and like I said, dual income, there's so much to do with it. Uh, 
the the returns on that I believe are going to be great. The wheat exactly needed to feed the pigs. Uh, there's so much going on with it, and uh, man, I'm telling you guys, uh, don't sleep on the land. Do not sleep on the land. There's only going to be 800 of them, guys, and uh, they're going to be very, very, very sought after. And there's going to be many things to talk about why and all that coming up. Uh, speaking of land, there was a um, partnership coming up with Exiled Apes collab. They're going to have a plot of land, which I think is great. The fact that they, first of all, the fact that they do something like that is great because it brings eyes to another community which gets their players uh, it's like oh what is this i want to learn about it and gets them involved as well because they're going to be able to mine in this game as well which gets more eyes gets more interest which is huge that's the kind of things you want so big shout out to to xl apes collab there and the land and all that's awesome and like i say man land is going to be king and i cannot wait now fingers crossed we get a mythical volcano obviously that's what everybody wants just like when you mint you want the number one mint uh oh, yeah. not everyone's gonna get one of those uh not very many people are probably gonna get one of those but that's what we all want right okay so um yes anything you want to add on the on the lander i think that's pretty much it right there's just uh it's it's gonna be big it's gonna be big right. and yeah, the collab you're talking about with exiled apes i have a feeling that there we're gonna see a lot more of that stuff coming here real soon they they've li literally done almost not no marketing but very little and i have a feeling that's gonna ratchet up here real soon to get that influx of volume that we need and I'm super excited about that. So welcome board exiled apes. I'm, I can't wait to learn more about you guys. Yeah, and that's and that's another thing too. It's it's with little to no marketing. It this is all this is a very very tight community, uh, very tight knit, very uh, loyal community, and that's an amazing base. You want that in any project. And we definitely have that here, 100%. Uh, okay, now I want to talk about something else called the uh, IQ protocol. So this is huge. So again, guys, if you have a ton of, I know a ton of people here have a lot of uh, dwarves and stuff. Uh, there's going to be IQ protocol. That is a rental, it's like a rental system, kind of like, so you can, if you if you you have your 10 dwarves that you're going to be mining with, any extra dwarves, you can rent them out to other people to get them in the game and stuff, which is huge. Uh, again, another passive uh, income. Uh, explain that talk to us break down iq protocol for us uh it's the renting uh there's millions in backing uh these people have millions of dollars in backing talk to us about it yeah uh parent company is called parseek i don't know if i'm butchering that or not but I, I didn't have much time to look into them roughly last 24 hours i was diving into a little bit to see who they are what they do they've been around at least at least since 2019, maybe further. And back around 2019, they got a hundred million dollars in investments from Binance. It was some sort of, I think it was tiered to like, as they progress, they would get money or something like that. Some of these, some of these uh, companies do that. They, they throw them a pot of money and say, as you achieve these milestones, we kick you out money. Did it happen exactly like that? I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like. I'm just kind of going off some quick speculation. Um, so they developed this, IQ protocol and what it basically does is it takes unique metadata and it copies it for a set amount of time per the contract. I believe that's how it works. This is like super nerd magic and I don't <laughs> I can't speak super nerd magic, but that's what it looks like to me. It's it looks pretty legit. They just had another seed round uh within the last year that involved uh crypto crypto crypto.com the CRO mm -hmm. project that pretty big people, them and a host of other people dumped in another $12 million in this project. And they have a lot of ties to like, you know, Binance, Solana, Polkadot, Chainlink, Elgorand. If you know anything about Elgorand, mm -hmm. they're pretty big and they've come out and publicly endorsed this company. So it is a third party. We're going to see how this works here real soon. And we'll be able to rent out our dwarves, which is super, super necessary for this. It's going to, really establish this economy and i like what i see so far i'm going to keep digging on it as we go because it actually is its own ecosystem which is crazy like you can even invest and stake in them it's like an ecosystem helping another ecosystem i like it it's very cool yeah i agree i think i think the renting of the dwarves is huge i love i love that concept so i'm super excited to see how that plays out uh, as well um yeah iq protocol they're called and uh that's gonna be big i think it's gonna be big i think it's gonna be very very big renting out your your dwarves and and like i say you have your 10 dwarves you're gonna be mining with and then the other ones you can rent out brings people in i, I love the idea now oh, there's uh, also one other tidbit yes one other tidbit. i forgot big thing also uh Third-party marketplace has been brought in 
to take care of that responsibility in game. I don't know the name of them yet, but we have been told that they have somebody mm -hmm. and they're gonna be handling the marketplace for Soulcraft. So I like that because it takes yeah. that responsibility off of them so they can focus on the game itself. I like it. Yeah, I was actually, yeah, I was gonna bring that up too, the, the marketplace and it's like, and that's the thing exactly. We don't know the name of it yet. We don't know too many details, but they're going to take care of it. I think that's huge as well. So yes, uh, IQ Protocol and another uh, company taking care of the marketplace. Massive. Love it. I want to talk about the pigs, man. I want to get into these, these battle pigs. I know you love your battle pigs. We all love our <laughs> battle pigs. Battle pigs all the way. There's so much. Here's the thing, man. Just with the battle pigs alone... I feel like there's so much utility, and, and that's like the word I always use when we talk about this, utility, man. There's just tons of utility everywhere. But the pigs, uh, there's it's almost like a, a game on its own. I feel like the pigs themselves could literally be an entire game on their own. Uh, we got airdropped the pigs, I believe, this week. It was just uh, earlier this week or last week. Um, we got the different rarities. got to check the rarities, and then there's the breeding. There's the mutations. Uh, tons and tons and tons of stuff to talk about the pigs. Uh, if you're looking to get some pigs, because now what happened was if you if you don't have a pig or if you buy a dwarf, it doesn't come with a pig. You can look in the second market. The floor is is very 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 reasonable right now. And what the pigs are gonna do? There's so much they can do, but let's just let's just say this for now. They can uh, they can def. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these pigs. You're gonna send them out to forage. Okay. So they're gonna come back and bring materials back and bring stuff back. Um, that's actually going to tie into crafting, which I want to get into a little bit in a minute here before we get too sidetracked. So the pigs are going to be able to bring stuff back, including materials, stuff like that. Um, and I think the floor right now is like 0.3 or something, which is very, very, very affordable, very good. This is going to be stuff that you're going to be able to send them out and they're going to come back, bring stuff in, guys. So it's I think it's a very, very reasonable price for something that's going to keep bringing you resources and materials so uh you might want to check that out talk to me about the pigs uh, my friend uh what do you want to talk about fertility <laughs> we keep saying it fertility yeah. and it when we started out with the battle pigs it was just they're going to help defend your dwarves against orc attacks and there's going to be breeding and that's all we knew right then it was hey you can breed them and if you have a mutation one or two, in the way you set it up, you can either go for uh, the wolf, the ram, or the one that everyone's probably going to go after. I know I am. The yep. dragon. So then we got that, and we were like, oh my gosh, even more fertility. <laughs> then they come out, and they're like, oh yeah, but wait, there's more. They, <laughs> they come out with this resource collection, and it's based off of rarity. So like the higher rarity you have, the better chance at collecting the items that you're going to need for crafting, I believe is how it's going to work. Uh, it, it is subject to some tweaks and stuff here. So let, we're not set in stone yet, but you can have your certain pigs do the defense. You can have your certain pigs do the breeding and then whatever other pigs you have ever send them out to collect some stuff. And I think it's going to be like seven days or something like that. They go on a journey it might not be set in stone, but it's more stuff that you can do with your pigs. So yes, even though there's floor pigs, you might want some to go send out and get resources if, if that's the way it's going to work. And it just gives you more and more to do with them. And that was a great point you made about being cheap. 0.3 soul. I mean, that's that's a great entry point for everybody to get in and get something. And yeah, I, I absolutely love it. Like and like I say, they're gonna go out there to bring stuff back to you, and you don't have to you don't have to do anything. You just send them out, and they're gonna go do their thing, come back, and I, that ties in. So there's a bunch of things I want to talk about the breeding exactly, the mutations. There's a lot of mutation one, mutation two, female, male. Uh, by the way, I'm looking for some suitable. Uh, you know, let's connect some houses here. You know, I got a couple of beautiful females. I got a couple of, they're, they're stunning. They're beautiful. I got a, a mutation one and a mutation two female, no males. So for all you studs out there, you know, uh, hit me up, man. Hit me up. I'm trying to get you a hat with like a big feather in it and like maybe like a, a pink or a purple, uh, you know, overcoat or something. Yeah, we're, we're trying to, yeah, I need, yeah, I should have worn that today. So I, you know, we're trying to find a good suitor, man. I mean, we're trying to, everyone's trying to go for that dragon. I mean, we don't even know what it does yet, but it's going to be incredible. Uh, you know, it's going to have utility that you know uh -huh. you know you know it's going to be packed with it so uh super excited about that actually one thing i, I want to talk about with the pigs too was uh if you're a whale and up you can actually have a custom one i believe right oh, you can yeah. get like a custom pig uh we got to figure that out man yeah i gotta fill out my form still there's yeah. a form out there for it and uh yeah you can customize your own pig i 
Man, I'm glad you said that. I forgot about that. I gotta, I gotta get mine too, man. I gotta, I gotta check mine too. Got a nice little Capone gaming skin. Maybe I'll get one that looks all pretty. That you know, all the, all the, all the guys will come over. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get something figured out. So yeah, um, yeah. So anyway, like, and I want to talk about how, yeah, you know, like we said, they we're gonna bring them out. They're gonna go get materials. They're gonna come back, and that leads into crafting. Now, I want to talk about crafting, which is gonna be big. Uh, crafting is gonna be huge again. This crafting is almost a game on its own again. So here we have. That's that's the thing about this game. Okay? Okay, it's it's we got the dwarves that are going to be mining solonite doing their thing. There's a whole game there. Then we have the pigs that you can breed. You're going to be able to race and you're going to be able to uh, send out to forage and get materials and 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 defend it. The, the pigs are a game on its own as well. Then we got crafting which is a game of its own as well, but it's all tied into one game. It all connects, but they could all be their own individual game. So the crafting is going to be massive. You have four runes. They're all different elements and uh, you're going to be able to like use them to craft and stuff. Now, I, we don't know all the details yet. It's not really out there. Uh, but what we do know is like, say if you get like, say you get like a, you, you mix like a water and earth together, you might get the mud, you know what I mean? Or like a fire rune, a sword and like a fireball will give you like the epic fire sword or something. So like, you're going to need these different pieces. You connect them together and it's going to make a bigger piece. And then you need that piece. You connect them together to get a, a bigger piece. And there's going to be a whole chart and you want to fill them all out and you want to learn some stuff. It's going to be wild so we don't have too 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 much information but i will tell you it's very detailed it's going to be very interesting there's going to be races to unlock spells and stuff and uh, i'm super excited about this so wt tell us about crafting yeah you hit a lot of the main points uh when they had this conversation with us i i was just like whoa slow down <laughs> There's a lot here. There's a lot here. We're going to need like a roadmap of what to do because this is super, super extensive. And I think they wanted to make it this way. They want to make this premium items and it's going to have a burning mechanic in it. And you can't, you can't just walk into this and automatically do this. If you mess up, you lose resources. It is a definite burn mechanic trap but if you can get through it and navigate it right you're going to get some sweet sweet rewards and one of the one of the main things i like is they're really putting a personal touch on it with if you are the first to get the recipe you get your name next to that forever for that recipe and there's going to be all kinds of different ways that other people can craft off this nothing is set in stone yet but they have the general outline so a lot of this stuff we're we're just giving the tone of what it's going to be like but it is subject to change because this is a very very uh intensive process and like you said you could take uh you know fire and uh sand and you can make glass and then you could possibly have to take that glass and who knows combine it with something else to make another material and then that material maybe you i don't know if they'll do this but it'd be funny if like you had to take it up to the mountain and find the dwarf king's ancestors and get it blessed by a sacred goat and then have that goat if the goat spits on it then it turns mythic but if it doesn't spit on it it's only going to be a rare you, who knows what they're going to do it just it could be everywhere so it, it's nuts <laughs> get a roadmap pencil pen like us old school guys and get ready to write some stuff down you know pen and pen that's what i like i got my pen and my pad right here i i love how you, i gotta get in your head one time i love how you think i want to see i i love it the goat and it spits on it you know you gotta love it uh but yeah crap Crafting is going to be huge. I think it's a major, major part of the game. And like I say, that's where pigs come in. I think pigs, I don't think people realize uh, how important these pigs are. Again, like I say, with, with the, with the getting the materials, bringing it back, uh, the wheat, the food, you got to feed. Like there's so much defending the door, like all this stuff, the races, the pigs have so much utility that tie into the crafting that tie into the, for, the, the mining, the solonite, the pigs I feel are like an anchor to so many different things in, in, in one sort of way. So, uh, mm -hmm. I would keep an eye on those for sure. Um, yeah. And, and again, with the crafting, I think yeah, you're gonna be able to craft like gear and stuff or whatever it is. Uh, it's, are, uh, it's going to be huge. These are uh Genesis pigs. There's no more. The, these are the only ones that can breed. That's it. Yeah. So these are kind of special, you know. I agree. I think uh, I think uh, people won't realize until it's too late. I think it's like one of those things where people are going to take it for granted and then realize, oh wait, I I need these, and uh, it's going to be a little bit too late. I, I I think the pigs are very undervalued right now, uh, personally. Um, yeah. So there's a bunch of things you want to talk about. So yeah, we talked about the land. We talked about the IQ protocol. We talked about the pigs. Uh, we talked about crafting. Uh, elves. Elves are coming in. The female elves are coming in. So originally it was supposed to be 2,000. We bumped it up to 2,500. I say we, but they bumped it up to 2,500. Uh, so two, so how that's going to work, it's going to be 2,000 
is going to be for the holders. So I'll do a little quick recap for those that are new here that haven't seen these videos before. So how it works is to get these elves. So right now, okay, so right now how it works is we all have dwarves. The, the dwarves are sold out. They're being staked. While they're being staked, you're getting SLN Solanite. So these dwarf, these uh, sorry, these female elves are going to come out. The way to get them is going to be by using Solanite. So by staking your dwarves right now, it's you're literally going to be able to pick up these elves essentially for nothing just by being an early adapter and investor. You're staking these dwarves because of that. They're thanking you and saying, "Yo, you can take that Solanite that you're staking, which they've been very very generous with, and you can now pick up these female elves with them." So. Uh, you can pick up one elf per, per dwarf that you have. So if you have 10 dwarves, you get 10 elves. If you have five dwarves, you get five elves, whatever it is. But you have to pay 500 soul a night. So there's 2,000 dwarves. Uh, there's going to be 2,000 elves attached to those. There's an extra 500 elves that are going to be for public. Now, that's big. One, that's going to bring people in. Two, um, you're going to want these. These elves, they have a purpose. They're... We don't know if they're going to be healers. We don't know if they're, what they're going to do. The the dwarves, we know are going to be the best at mining, but these elves are going to have a purpose and you're going to need them and it's going to build like a team. So the dwarves are the best miners. Maybe these elves, we don't know. Maybe they heal. Maybe they defend. Who knows what they do, but they're going to have a purpose to help. They also have owls. You already know how important these pigs are. What are these owls going to have? Are you going to be able to breed the owls eventually? And, you know, it, it's, it's this whole effect and uh, I think these elves are going to be huge. Uh, talk to us about the elves, uh, WT. Yeah, you 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 hit it pretty well on everything there. Uh, we got to see some of the art already being done. It looks amazing, and yeah, they look good. We figured they would. Uh, <laughs> they they look they're, awesome. The artists are doing a great job, and yeah, it, it's just we're gonna need a roadmap for them too. I feel like everywhere we go, we need a roadmap. There's just yeah. so many things, and like if you're not paying attention or have a good uh pamphlet of what to do you're gonna miss something and yeah the the owls add a whole nother factor and there was some mentioning about maybe not for uh, not for sure but maybe a phoenix as like instead of the, the the or as the dragon equivalent of what the pigs do uh we're assuming they're gonna be magically enhanced they won't be as good as the miners as the dwarves like you said but they'll have some sort of magic element that's gonna be interesting i these guys continue to pack value like we always say into things, and I wouldn't be surprised that they do the same thing with the elves, and I absolutely love that they open up 500 more spots to the public because we want more people in that's you got to have people in an economy that's just that's that's the way it works yeah 100 percent. i agree I, I i love that they did it as well i love that we have that extra 500 spots i think that's huge and uh and and like i say these elves are gonna have some magical thing to them and like it's if you think if you ever played like an mmo type of game you got to look at your team right you can't just have like five tanks running in you got to have a team you got to have a healer you got to have a caster you got to have a tank you got to have a dps there, and and i feel like I, if you look into the future, if you try to look ahead and you can see they're building something and these elves are the next step and I and I feel like it's 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 going to be a good thing and you're going to need these in your team. So, yeah, so uh, like I said before, there's 2000 for the 2000 elves for the 2000 dwarves the equivalent. So if you have a dwarf, you have, you get a you can buy an elf for 500. There's an extra 500 for the public, which is huge, brings people in and I think people are going to really like these elves. I I can't wait for the elves to be very 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 honest with you. Uh, I can't wait and to see what they do and I'm really excited for that. So, uh, that's the elves. Uh, anything else you want to bring up about them? And I like the Phoenix thing. I never heard that. That's actually uh, that's pretty sick. Phoenix would be cool. Yes. Yeah, that's set in stone, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You, dude, you nailed that, man. You hit almost everything on that. There really wasn't much for me to say. So, you know, you, good job, man. You got you got your elves down. <laughs> that's the only. Be, uh, they're pretty. <laughs> See, that's like why. Said, that's why, man. Ones. That's Everyone why. likes the pretty ones. We all know. We all know about the elves. That's all we know. Everyone, you know. <laughs> you, yeah, you're right. Uh, all right, I want to talk about the alpha as well. Uh, we got alpha coming in. We're get. We're guessing late May, early June which is, I think that's good. And if it is a little later, then you know what? You want this stuff. Like, I, you know, I always use, there's going to be delays in everything. And I always use Cyberpunk as an example. Now, I'm not saying it's not that, you know, Cyberpunk. That game came out when it wasn't ready. You want everything, everything that come out, comes out, you want it to be ready, okay? So a game was called Cyberpunk. It came out, you know, a few years ago, whatever it was, a couple years ago, and they rushed it. It didn't, wasn't ready, and they put it out because people were put, go, give me the game, give me the game. The game didn't work. The game, you know, blah, 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 and it just, it wasn't pretty. So you never want things to be rushed. And I'm the kind of, I'm a patient person too. So the game should be coming out. The alpha should be coming out about May, late May, early June. 
uh, which I think is good. It gives them time to polish everything, make sure everything's right. And that's how it should be. That's what you want. You want a polished, finished game or at least something ready for alpha uh, by the time it gets there. What are your thoughts on the alpha, man? Yeah, super excited for it. I I hope that uh, I want it here, but I hope they take their time to make mm. sure it's right. Uh, we've been in other projects and we've seen delays. So it's it's not out of the ordinary if there was a delay. It just that is this space right now. It's not easy. People people take for granted that video games are easy to make, and it is not. And then right. you throw in blockchain with it. You got right. blockchain not easy. You got video games not easy, and you're trying to put them together and make a beautiful baby. Yeah, it's tough. It yeah. is tough. So I I can't believe the pace at which these guys are keeping up. Kudos to them. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. I can't wait to see it and test drive this baby. I agree. I'm, I'm amped. I am so amped for the uh, alpha. But yeah, you want the product to work exactly, and that's and I'm glad that they that they that that they're taking the time and they're doing it right, like you say though. But things come out so fast, man, and and they move like they don't mess around. They say they're gonna do something, they do it, and and I like that. You know, they're like, yep, we're doing this, we're going that way, boom, and it's done. Uh, and I love it. And uh, yeah, I, I want to say like uh, I, I do want to talk about the community a little bit too. I want to give a couple shout outs to the to the community. Is there anything you want to say before uh, before that? Did anything you want to say about the alpha? Alpha or the land or the crafting of the pigs or the anything at all? I think we hit everything pretty good. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll start off on the community. It's, uh, you know, it being in other projects, it takes a little time to get to know people. Mm -hmm. And I feel like for me personally, I don't know about you, I'm starting to like getting used to people's names, getting used to their mannerisms. You know, I've been talking a little bit with Acid Man, Orkinator, Lady uh, Vanta Black. Uh, I got to talk to her yesterday. She's an awesome artist. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like I heard she was an awesome artist, and then I got to see or to hear what she was talking about and see a couple of her pictures of stuff she's done. I was like, whoa, this, yeah. this, this, this lady's no joke. You know, yeah. and, uh, you know, I feel like I'm really starting to get in the community a little bit better and know people, and I like when it starts happening because then I can start building off of that and forming relationships, and, you know, it just... You can feel that this community is just, it's solid and it's, it's really coming together. Yeah, I agree. I, I like, I, you know, we talk about this all the time in any video community is, is key. Community is so important in any of this stuff. And this community is solid. Like I, I, I can, you can see that they're just, everyone's there. Everyone's pulling for the community. Uh, and that's why, and I'm glad you brought up some of those names. I want to definitely talk to uh, about a few people here like Sanjuro amazing artist guys you've seen his art he draws the pig and he you know he's always doing funny art and stuff uh sandro is an absolute beauty he is actually you're gonna be seeing one of our you're gonna be seeing our logo here soon i can't wait to show you guys uh -huh. you guys are gonna be blown away so hopefully by the next video or whenever it is i mean there's no rush for it but you'll be seeing it soon and, and uh, you're gonna be blown away so our logo is in the works right now it's our official logo obviously mal uh dwarf king as you guys know him uh, the guy is putting this together uh stinky duck you know these these guys they don't sleep they don't mess around they're doing a great job jay bizzle's an absolute beauty we love him solemnly swear grishy uh the orkinator arc soul muffins Evo flanders girl woo tomahawk bosley i mean Dude, the names go on and on. We can keep naming them and naming them. The, the community has been incredible. And we want to say thank you to everybody that, that one, is just a part of it. Two, that, you know, watches our videos. And people tell us how much they love watching our videos and they look forward to them. You know, that really means a lot. And, and I'm glad that, you know, we, we were able to do that and, and bring that information forward to you guys. Uh, anything you want to top up on that, uh, WT? Nah, they're all beauties, man. They're all beauties. <laughs> Bunch of beauties, hundred percent. So I definitely want to say thank you to everybody um, that, like I said, that watches and that's part of it all and that builds this to what it is. Uh, you guys have been absolutely incredible. Do you want to touch on anything else, WT? Anything we missed? I think we hit everything. What do you think, man? I think it's time for a let's go. All right, you beauties, guys. <laughs> uh, again, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe. You know the drill. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Did we miss anything? Is there anything you want us to talk about? Is there anybody from the community you want on the next video? Let us know this stuff. I mean, you know, we're open books. Our DMs are always open. We love chatting with everybody, getting to know everybody. Uh, just let us know in the comments below. Don't be shy. Uh, and, uh, you know, I can't wait uh, till the land comes out. Hopefully, uh, you know, let us know what you got. If you, if you got your land and you're watching this now, let us know below what kind of land you got. You know, uh, yeah, let's have some fun with this. All right, guys, we are out of here. We love you. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.